Welcome back. You might be familiar with her keen eye for DIY and design, occasionally running into her at the found cottage while out shopping, but perhaps you didn't know that Liz Marie Galvin battles infertility. Faith and determination would land Liz and her husband with a beautiful baby boy. Liz is very open about their journey. Join us this morning to tell us more about it and to talk about a beautiful new book called We Belong to Each Other. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And Jose is there with her as well. So let's go ahead and back up. I kind of think I already know about what the inspiration is behind We Belong to Each Other. Why don't you go ahead and enlighten us? Yeah, so we live on a farm here just south of Grand Rapids, and we had a sheep come to us about four years ago. Her name is Grace. She was rejected by her mother, and we took her in on the farm and bottle fed her. So this book, We Belong to Each Other, is following her journey of coming to our farm. I love it. I, did, I was able to get halfway through it before the show started, and I love the little rhymes that go along with it. It's a very easy read. So who is this book written for, and what types of families do you think are really going to, uh, you know, this is going to resonate with? We believe that this book will resonate with every family, um, it, especially um, families who have adopted, um, as it talks about. It's not about who we look like, but how we love that makes us a family. Um, but this book will resonate with every kid. It has farm animals and animals that they will fall in love with. And the illustrations are very clear and very bright, so kudos to your illustrator as well. <laughs> Thanks. And, and what makes this story so special to you guys? Yeah, so uh, we adopted our son, Cope, um, two years ago, and um, he definitely doesn't look like us, <laughs> um, but we um, love him so much, um, and we hope that he always knows that it's not about how he looks um, as to why we're family, but it's love. Yeah. And I think that's kind of exactly what Grace's story is too, right? Yeah, yep. Um, so actually the story came from a dream I had. I woke up one morning, said, I need the computer, I need to write this down. <laughs> Never thinking we were gonna share it with everyone. Um, and when Liz published her first book, we were just talking with the publisher about it organically and it came up and here we are. Yeah. I love it. Now, is Cope to the point where he'll sit and listen to it now? Oh yes, he has memorized most of it. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of the animals around the farm, he points out and he knows the names and who they are. Our neighbor's pigs are actually featured in it, and uh, he calls her D. So he goes, D pigs, D pigs. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun to read with them. <laughs> That's so cute. It's been fun watching him grow on social media too. Your Instagram, of course, is something we're all very familiar with. But um, you are uh, familiar with being an author. So this is not your first book, but this is your first children's book. Yeah, so I wrote Cozy White Cottage a few years ago, and that is filled with a hundred simple tips on how to make your home cozy, um, and we hope that everyone enjoys that, but we also hope that they can cozy up with their families and read our new book as well. So we hope that it just fits under our cozy brand. And as far as what types of topics you really think that we belong to each other can help parents, you know, teach their children to, what do you think there? We hope that it spreads the message of adoption and that it opens up topics even into homes that um, have not adopted for kid, for other kids to learn about adoption because we know that uh, when Cope, our son, goes to school, we hope that he can be open about his journey with other kids and um, if parents are reading this book to their kids, um, it just becomes a more normalized topic to talk about. Wonderful. Well, Liz and Jose, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes. We Belong to Each Other, available everywhere books are sold. You can get them on online starting March 9th. Uh, cost $18.99. Go to lizmarieblog.com for more details. We'll be right back.